Good evening, Raynam. How are you? Good evening, Evelyn. Mr. Luna, good evening. I can see you're driving, so be careful. Nuria, good evening. How are you? Good evening, everybody. Thank you so much for joining the class. All right, so I really appreciate it. So we have here Miguel Angel, Evelyn, Nuria, Mr. Luna, and Reina. Good evening. So I can see everybody's going to be a listener, all right, with the exception of Nuria. Hello, Nuria. Hello, teacher. How are you? Fine, thanks. And you? I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. How was your day? It's good. It was good? Excellent. So let's see here. I can see more people joining the class. Good evening, Henry Giovanni. How are you? Good evening. Hi, sir. Good evening, uh, Mr. Luna. I saw you were driving. Hi, so be careful. Yes, I'm really sorry. I am driving. No worries, no worries. All right. So you can participate as soon as you get home. Yes, teacher. Thank you. All right. Be careful. All right, so what else? What else? I can see Guillermo. Good evening, Guillermo. How are you? Good evening, teacher. I'm okay. great. And you? I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. All right, so are you going to participate, you know, in tonight's activities or are you going to be a listener, Guillermo? Yes, no, I'm going to participate. Okay, great. Good to know. <laughs> All right, so I have Miguel Angel. So good evening. I know it says oriented there, so just want to say hi. And who else? I have Evelyn, which is also says oyente, right? So let's see. Good evening also. Um, Henry, Henry doesn't say anything. Henry, are you going to be able to participate in the activities or are you a listener? Henry? No, I'm going to participate. Great. Excellent, Henry. Thank you for confirming. And good evening, by the way. So let's see here. Mm, who else? Who else? Let's see. Let's see. Reina. Well, Reina already said good evening. So she's listener. No problem. And uh, I'm just missing Mr. Flores. Good evening, Mr. Flores. How are you tonight? Ooh, very well, teacher. I'm fine. Yeah, that's great. Super, super, um, super good. Hey, excellent. That's good to know, right? And are you going to be able to participate um, in the activities or are you, gonna, are you gonna be a listener tonight? No, I I work. All right, great, excellent. Thank you very much. Okay, well, everybody, welcome to the class. Currently, I have um three people who will be able to participate in the first activities. So, and you know, every Every night, I like to start the class with this funny activity, which is a tongue twister, because I like that you guys develop your fluency and your pronunciation, right, in the activities you are doing there, right? And uh, let's see here. The first one, it's this one. One second. There you go. So this is the first one we got right here. And there you should have it right now. Okay, so that is going to be the first activity for tonight, which is going to be a tone twister, right? So this tone twister is going to, uh, you know, it is actually part of a song. It's a very popular song from the 2000s time, right? So, but we're going to like work with this specific part of the song because we want you to um, practice, like, as I said before, your fluency, your pronunciation, right? And that you can speak a little bit faster without having any problems, right? So let me repeat it for you. And then I will ask for some volunteers to um, participate in this activity here, all right? 
So I remember at the moment I have three possible volunteers who can participate. Mr. Flores, Nuria, and uh, well, Guillermo also, and uh, Henry. All right. So you guys are going to be my possible volunteers. So let's see. How is it? All right. It says right there. I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. So tell me what you want, what you really, really want. I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. So tell me what you want, what you really, really want. So that's the first activity for tonight, all right? So let me repeat it again for you. I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. So tell me what you want, what you really, really want. I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. So tell me what you want, what you really, really want. All right, excellent. So do you have questions about the pronunciation? Right. Pronunciation, pronunciation. No questions? Okay, no problem. So it's time for you to practice, right? I will give you right now two minutes so you can practice for those two minutes. And then I will choose the first volunteer for participating in this first activity. So please go ahead. Remember, I will repeat it for you one more time. I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. So tell me what you want, what you really, really want. I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. So tell me what you want, what you really, really want. Easy, right? Go ahead. You can do it. All right. So let's see here. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Oh, mine microphone. No, yes, yo, yo lo escuchaba entrecortado, no sé si es mi internet, entonces. What about the rest? Can the rest confirm if my audio is okay or not? It's okay. Okay, oh. teacher. Oh, okay. All right, Nuria, so check it out, right? So, um, well, let's continue practicing. Good evening, Mr. Membreño. Right. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Edwin. Good evening, also, uh, Ursula. I know you're going to be a listener, but hi. Okay, so let's see here. Continue practicing, please, 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 please. All right. Oh, Henry, but that happens to you every day. So I don't know if it is my microphone or yours. I mean, I'm ready, teacher. All right, excellent. Who said I'm ready? Who was it? Me, teacher. Mm, I cannot Eduardo. see right here. Eduardo. Eduardo. All right, go ahead, my friend. I give you what I want, what I really, really want. So tell me what you want, what I really, really want. I tell you what I want, what I really, really want. So tell me what you want, what I really, really want. Easy, right? Also, you were doing it singing. You see how you got the intonation as well, all right? Good job. All right, thank you, Eduardo. So who's the next one? Come on, everybody, and it's volunteers. All right, all right. So who's the next, 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 Me next? Care. Next is gonna be Nuria, right? Okay, go ahead. He'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. So tell me what you want, what you really, really want. He'll tell you what I want. So what I really, really want, so tell me what you want, what you really, really want. All right, Nuria, very good. So just remember that the pronunciation of this one, it's not ill, because if you pronounce it like ill, which is going to be this word right here, ill, that means sick, and like enfermo, right? And that's not what we want, all right? So we just want to say, I'll. I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. So try one more time, Nuria, you can do it. I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. So tell me what you want, what you really, really want. I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. So tell me what you want, what you really, really want. All right. Excellent. Thank you very much. All right. So you were doing a very good job. And thank you for applying the correction. Right. Thank you very much. So anybody else? Mm -hmm. Volunteer, volunteer. Yes, yes, yes. Who's my volunteer? Oops, what happens there? Hello, hello. Ah, 
let's see, Daniel, Edwin, Guillermo, Catherine, Noé, uh -huh. yes, who's next? Okay, teacher, voy a intentar. <laughs> okay, thank you, Edwin, go ahead. I tell you what I want, what you really, really want. So tell me what you want, what you really, really want. I tell you what I want, what you really, really want. So tell me what you want, what you really, really want. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Edwin. That was a good job as well. I just want to tell you exactly the same recommendation I mentioned to uh, Nuria, right? So the first one, it's not ill, right? It's I'll repeat it. I'll tell you what I want. I'll repeat it. I'll correct. Now do it one more time, please. I tell you what I want, what you really, really want. So tell me what you want, what you really, really want. I I tell you what I want, what you really, really want. So tell me what you want, what you really, really want. All right, excellent. That was actually better. So you applied that correctly. Thank you very much. All right. And hey, now I can see I have another volunteer here, which is Daniel. Hello, Daniel. Tell me. Go ahead, please. I tell you what I want, what I really, really want. So tell me what you want, what, are, what you really, really want. I tell you what I want, what I really, really want. So tell me what you want, what you really, really want. All right, great, excellent. Thank you very much for that, all right? So you did a very good job. Congratulations, my friend, all right? And I'm missing some people here. Uh-huh, who is it? Evelyn. No, no, Evelyn is listener, sorry. Uh-huh, let's see, let's see. Uh-huh, Catherine. Catherine, Noé. Um, who else? Henry Giovanni also. Uh -huh. Uh -huh, uh -huh. One more, please. Who's that one? Aha, uh -huh, Catherine, what about you? Okay. All right, great. Um, Go ahead. I don't know how to say I will. You can say I'll. The first. I'll. Ah, okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. So tell me what you, t what you want, what you really, really want. I will tell tell you what I want, what I really, really want. So tell me what you want, uh, what you really, and really want. So thank you very much, my friend. You were doing a very good job as well. Thank you, thank you for participating. And thank you everybody else for, um, you know, helping me with, uh, you know, participating in these activities right here. So you were doing a very good job, all right? So. Remember, people, like the more you participate, the better um, your pronunciation is going to become, right? So if you want to speak a little bit faster, make sure that you practice with songs or tongue twisters in order for you to have a better pronunciation and also, pronun I mean, intonation as well, all right? So, well, let's just continue with the next activity here. So let's see, what is it, all right? So we have a review, 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 review. So we have some vocabulary that we already covered and we need to actually match this one. So, but this time we are going to do it together here. But first of all, let's read the definitions first. For example, who can help me with letter A? Letter A here, volunteer for reading, just reading. Uh -huh. Thank you, go ahead, please. A place where food and drinks are served to customers. Okay, very good. A place where food and drinks are served. 
All right, so remember that the pronunciation of the word will be type of like this one, serve, served, like that. Served. Exactly, all right, so that will be like the pronunciation there. So, uh, thank you, thank you, Daniel. All right, so that's it. So, what is place, my friends? What is place, place, place? This one? Area. Excuse me? No, an area. Uh -huh. Un área, un lugar. All right. Yeah. So that's actually the best translation. Thank you. Lugar. Yeah. Where food and drinks are served. What is the meaning of served? Mm -hmm. yeah. Servidos. All right. Conjugating in past already. Thank you very much. All right. So, lugar donde la comida y las bebidas son servidas a los customers. Do you remember what is customers? Right. Clientes, invitados. I would say clientes in this case, like generally speaking, right? So thank you very much. All right. So another volunteer for letter B. Who's my volunteer for letter B? Me, teacher. Okay, please go ahead. The person who greet and sit customer at the restaurant. Thank you, Henry. So what's the meaning of the word greets? Mm -hmm. Hello? What is it? Saluda. Correct. And see it? Sentar. Sentar, exactly. Very good job. All right. So greet and sit customers at the restaurant. Right. So la persona quien saluda y saluda y sienta los clientes en el restaurante. Exactly. So you understood this correctly, right? So then you go on this one. Letter C. Volunteer. Volunteer. Volunteer for letter C. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hello. The arrangement of plates, glass, food, food glory, and napkins, napkins on a table for a meal. For a meal. Excellent. Thank you very much, Daniel. So let's just review the pronunciation of these words. Please, everybody, repeat it with me. Arrangement. Please repeat it. Arrangement. Very good. Excellent. So this one, plates. Plates. There we go. And the last one right here, glasses. Glasses. Mm -hmm. And glasses. cutlery. It's like dog. Cutlery. 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 All right. Very good. And then napkins. Napkins. Excellent. So let's review the vocabulary here. So to see and understand what is the meaning. All right. So, hey, everybody, what is the meaning of arrangement? Mm -hmm. What's the meaning of arrangement? Do you know it, my friends? Retirar. Uh -uh. What is it? Disposición. Disposición. Mm -hmm. Interesting. All right. Another one? Mm -hmm. Es la cantidad. All right, excellent. So if you go to the translator, it might have like, for example, un acuerdo, o como dijo Henry, like disposición de los platos. But basically, it's just like how to organize, como like, like ordenar los platos, right? Como poner los platos, basically. All right, on this one. Understand? Yes. Yes. Yeah. All right, so la disposición de los platos, los pasos. Eh, what else does it say there, people? Uh -huh. Teacher, disposición o posición de los platos. So it would be like disposición, all right? So, which is basically ordenar los platos, you know? Mm -hmm. All right, so, like in simple words, establecer la posición de los platos. All right, so that's it. Um, and then we go to the next one, uh, cutlery. Remember what is cutlery? 
Oh my goodness. Cubiertos. Yeah, that was from last night. Yes, yes, yes. All right, so, and then uh, uh, napkins. What's napkins? Servietas. Thank you. All right. All right, so like this one. Excellent. Thank you. So we have more vocabulary for tonight. All right. Then, thank you. All right. Who can help me with the letter D? Me, teacher. Okay. Um, okay. So, uh, Nuria, you can help me with letter D. And I guess the other one was Henry, right? You can help me with the letter E. Go ahead. Okay. An additional amount of money given by the customer to the waiter, waitress mm -hmm. as appreciation for a good service. Okay, excellent. All right. So what's the meaning of amount, people? So the word amount that we have right here. Uh-huh. Cantidad sabía, yo no sé. All right. Monto, cantidad, the same. All right. So yes. And then what is waiter? Mesero. And then a waitress? Mesera. Correct. Very good. As appreciation for a good service. And then we have letter E. All right. What's the meaning of letter E? Or how do you pronounce it to begin with? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Hello? Do you know how to pronounce it? Yes or no? You don't know. Okay, no problem. So that's utensils. Repeat it, my friends. Utensils. Repeat it. Utensils. utensils. Thank you very much. So who can help me to continue reading this, the, the last one, letter E? Utensils. Mm -hmm. Such as, such as knives. 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 Uh-huh. Forks and spoons mm -hmm. used for eating. For eating. Excellent. Thank you very much. So we said utensils is utensilios, right? And then we have here knives. What is knives? Cuchillos. Excellent. All right. So we have cuchillos. Forks. Tenedores. Tenedores. Very good. Excellent. And spoons. Cuchara. Cuchara. There you go. Excellent. Thank you very much. So we have that. Uh, oops, I made a mistake there in the knife. Excuse me on this one. All right. It's supposed to be like this one. Correcting. Okay. Okay. Very good. So that's basically um, the vocabulary that we have right here. Okay. So now that we have discussed the vocabulary, so we understand the definitions, it's time to match. Match, match, match. All right. So what about number one? So host or hostess, what is this? Which one do you think is this one? Uh-huh, A, B, C, D. Letter B. Letter B, can you read it? The person who greets and sits customers at the restaurant. Thank you very much. What about the rest people? Do you think that's okay, yes or no? Hello? Yes or yes? Hello, hello. Maybe, my, guess? <laughs> maybe my microphone is not working. Let me test it. Good evening, good evening, everybody. Can you hear me? Hello, hello. Hello. The number four yes, tips is the, the D. All right. Thank you very much. So let's say this one. Number one is letter B. And what were you saying before? Excuse me. The number four. four. T is the D. T is the D. Uh huh. What about number two? Uh, restaurant number five in the in the field A. Uh, restaurant A. is letter A. Okay. At number two, letter C. Number two, letter C, and finally, number three, letter E. 
letter E. All right, excellent. So you see, that was easy, easy, easy. All right, so that's it, that's it. Hey, guys, do you have questions about vocabulary or about any expression that is not clear so I can help you to clarify that? Teacher. Yes. Eh, solo la pronunciación de es hostes. In the number one. Correcto. Thing? Yes. All right. So first of all, we have host, right? Host and then we is. have host. a. Exactly. So we have hostess there, like which means amphitriona. Amphi, amphitriona. Sorry, I forgot the Spanish. All right. So it's hostess. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Hostess. Hostess. Yes. Okay. Correct. All right. Excellent. So any other question? Pronunciation, vocabulary, yes, no, no, yes. Can I continue with the next slide? Yes, yeah, teacher, continue. Thank you very much. Okay, very good. So let's continue here. Oh, one, one second. Uh, okay. So you can, I will just give me a second. I'm just going to send this screenshot to the group so you can have it there. Okay, excellent. I don't know if somebody has sent it. Okay, not yet. Perfect, so I'll be sending the information there right now. Okay, so yep, we can eliminate everything and move forward. Thank you. All right, so let's see Ooh, what happens here, All right? One quick second. And so we will see this one. Do you see the new uh, slide, my friends? Yes or no? no? No. It's not complete, right? It's charging. Oh, it's loading. Okay. Let me see if it is loading now. Please confirm. Yes. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Excellent. Yeah. What about now? Okay, so let's see here. Let's continue with this one right here. Okay, sorry, some the technical difficulties. It's just like loading here. Reloading again. One second. Okay, it should be there already. Can you see it now? Yep. We're better. We're better. Yes. Thank you very much. All right. So we are going to talk about uh, a grammar section tonight, which is this one, Wood Better. And now we are going to see what is this. All right. So I need. A volunteer who can help me to read this paragraph about wool better. Who can help me? Okay. Oh, thank you, Daniel. Go ahead. In Spanish, the process wood better can be translated as sería mejor. This phrase is often used to express a recommendation, recommendation or suggest suggestions for improvement. For example, if someone says you would better study for the exam, it would be translated as uh, sería mejor que estudiaría, estudiara para el examen. Thank you very much, Daniel. I really appreciate your effort, right, by reading, and your help, of course, by reading this paragraph, all right? So now, let's just work on some um, corrections regarding the pronunciation, all right? So the first one, please repeat with me, phrase. 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 It's like if you had the, like this one. Like this one. Phrase. Exactly, all right? So it's basically like that. All right, so, and then, uh, let's just go on this one right here. Uh, this one, translated. 
Repeat it, my friend. Translated. Translator. This one translated. right here. Translator. Translated. Exactly. Right. So can be translated as sería mejor. All right. So then remember how to pronounce this one. Praise. Very good. And then we go for this one. Suggestion. Suggestion. Very good. Like that one. Good job. All right. This one here, it will be improvement. Repeat it. Improvement. Awesome. All right. And then, do you remember how to pronounce this one? Translate. Translated. Translated. So, yes. It will be like, uh, if we're saying something here. All right. So, like this one. Trans. Lay, sorry, lated, like that. Translated, repeat it. Translated. Exactly. Translated. Like that. Very good, excellent. Thank you very much, Daniel, for helping me with this one. Okay, let's do something. Let's try to like uh, read again this paragraph, but I need another volunteer. Who can help me again reading the paragraph now with me the corrections? Me. Thank you, Nuria, go ahead. Okay, sorry, sorry. Uh, I have Nuria, and who was the other person who said me? Catherine. Catherine. All right. So, uh, Nuria will go first, and then Catherine, you repeat it again. All right. Okay. okay. Thank you. Go ahead, girls. World better. In Spanish, the phrase "world better" can be translated as "sería mejor." This phrase is often used to express a recommendation or suggestion for improvement. For example, if someone says you will better study for the exam. It will be translated as sería mejor que estudiaras para el examen. Thank you very much, Nuria. That was actually good. I just have two observations right here, right? So remember this, the first word, it's pronounced ses. Repeat it. Ses. Exactly. Like ses. if you were saying this one. Translated. Ses. And the next one, yeah, translated. You said translate, all right? So... And translated. Translated, exactly. But thank you. You did a very good job as well. All right. So now let's go with the next girl. Me, teacher. Go ahead, please. Wool bearer. Mm -hmm. In Spanish, the phrase wool bearer can be translated as sería mejor. This phrase is often used to express a recommendation or suggestion for improvement. For example, if, if someone say, you will better study for the exam, it will be translated as sería mejor que estudiaras para el examen. Thank you very much. All right, mm -hmm. so in this case, you were doing a very good job with uh, the other words right here. So just like remember, says the first one right here, this Test. one says, and then study, mm -hmm. like study. Study. There you Test. go. Excellent. Thank you very much for helping me with this one. All right. So now, uh, remember that when you are pronouncing this word as well, like the word would, it's like if you are having a long U, like if you're saying would, like this one, would. Repeat it, my friends. Would. Better. Exactly. All right. Good. So it's good. not correct. It's not correct to say good. No, that's not correct. All right. So the correct one, it will be would. 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 would be exactly. Better. Would, would better. better. Repeat it. Would better. Would better. Would better. Exactly. Thank you very much. Better. So you got this one. Uh huh. Questions? No, okay. All right, so then let's continue with this one right here. So, would better that it can be translated, as you can see there, it's like sería mejor. It's used to express recommendations, right? Recommendations or suggestions so we, or for improvement. So, this is just, or we're going to use this uh, expression whenever we are trying to recommend something, okay? So, to um, express that something should be better. All right, so like when you want to say, for example, sería mejor que, will be better study for the test. You know, you will better study for the test. 
All right. Or how do you say, for example, sería mejor que eh, pagues la factura. How do you say that? Sería mejor que pagues la factura. How would you say that, my friends? Hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. You, you better the payment for the... Um, how do you say factura in English? Bill. Bill. Bitter. Bitter. Bill, 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 b i l. -L. Bill. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you will better the pay to the bill. All right. Yes, almost. All right. So we'll be like this one. You will better pay the bill. All right. So like this one, which in translator sería mejor que pagues la factura. All right. So you got it correctly there. Okay. So then, um, how do you say, for example, sería mejor que pongas atención. How do you say it that? You would better pay attention. Very good. You would better pay attention. So you go on this one, all right? And we can think about many other examples, right? Are you understanding at this point? Do you have questions at the moment? Yes? No? It's clear, teacher. It's clear. All right. Let's just review some examples right here to see if actually you have a couple of questions. All right. So with this one, I can show you examples, you know, like more elaborated examples. So you can have these examples right here. So let's see. I need someone who can help me with the example number one. Who can help me with the example, please? Just reading. Yes. Go ahead. We, we would, we... Would better meet mm -hmm. customer steps ex expectation by by ensuring or stop in training to provide excellent service. Thank you very much. So let's just review the pronunciation here. Meet. Repeat it. Meet. meet. Exactly. Meet. Right. Customers. So you will better meet customers' expectations by ensuring or staff staff. Repeat it. Stuff. Stuff. Very good. Excellent. And then we go with the next word that is trained. Repeat it. Trained. trained. Uh -huh. All right. Excellent. So then you go with the next one. All right. So uh, what's the meaning of meat? To know. Uh -huh. Okay. So in this meat. case. Uh-huh. Yes. Um, no, no, it, it, it. Mm -hmm. To know. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Right. So, well, in that case here, my friends, it will be just as, um, yeah, as you said before, to know. Right. So, but in this case, it will be like, como cumplir. Mm -hmm. mm, no. Okay. All right. So, because it's this one, nosotros. Sería mejor que nosotros cumplamos con las expectativas del cliente, asegurándonos que nuestro staff esté entrenado para proporcionar un excelente servicio. Yes, you are right, for example, when you're saying meet means conocer. Absolutely. That's why we have the phrase in English, nice to meet you, which means mucho gusto de conocerte, right? So you're right. But in this context, means, I'm sorry, meet means eh, cumplir, cumplir in este caso, expectativas, to meet expectations, all right? Understand? Yes, teacher. Okay. All right, so like that. Thank you. All right, so let's see, another volunteer for number two. Who can be my volunteer for number two? Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. It will better, it will better adapt our guest preferences if we offer it a vegetarian option on the menu. Thank you very much. All right. So it will better, it will better adapt our guest. All right. So how would you translate that one? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How would you uh, translate Sería that one? mejor adaptarnos a nuestros eh, invitados. All right. So sería mejor adaptarnos a nuestros invitados. Okay. 
But you have this word right here. O a las preferencias de nuestros invitados. Correct. A las preferencias correct. de nuestros invitados. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sí. Uh -huh. Si nosotros ofrecemos como una opción vegetariana en nuestro menú. Perfect. You understood o en el menú. correctly. Uh -huh. You got the idea, right? That is correct. Thank you very much. So you're saying, as you can see in example number one, in number two, we are like giving recommendations, right? Como sería mejor si cumplimos las expectativas haciendo esto, o sería mejor agregar una opción vegetariana en el menú. So that's what we are like recommending in those two sentences. Ahora, now we are going to work on this one with another form, which is very common, which is just like the question form for this one, all right? So we go on this one. Para las questions, we are going to go with this structure right here, which is would, then eat, then the verb, and then this the complement, which is the rest. All right. And the questions here eh, are going to be translated in a different way. So for example, who can help me to read the number three? Number three. Mm -hmm. Number three. Uh -huh. Would it, uh -huh. Would it improve customer satisfa satisfaction if we offer a complete, if we offer a complimentary de dessert with every meal? Uh, exactly. Sorry for the intonation, teacher. No worries. You did <laughs> I know, I know, it's a question, right? So, would it improve customer satisfaction if we offer a complimentary dessert meal after meal? All right, so like that. And what would be the translation? Mm -hmm. How would you Podría translate? satisfacer. Mm -hmm. mm. Eh, como si... Podríamos garantizar la satisfacción del cliente si ofrecemos un postre complementario con cada comida. Okay, excellent. So I want to ask you something, all right? So what is the difference between the number three and the number five? Mm -hmm. Que... No estamos recomendando, sino que estamos consultando. Mm -hmm. All right. So, like, for example, the number three, what's it, what, have, what does number five have that number three doesn't have? Mm -hmm. ¿Qué tiene la, la cinco que no tenga la tres? That's what I'm asking right now. Mm -hmm. Ajá, hay una palabrita que está de más, ¿cuál sería? Uh -huh. What is it? Hello. Se desconectaron, my students. My students went offline. It. My goodness, my friends. And what about this war? Better. Yay, better. <laughs> better, yes. It's the word that number three and number four don't have. It, and let me explain to you what happens right here. ¿Por qué no está la palabra better in number three and number four? It's because of the verb. Es por estos verbos que estamos usando en estos ejemplos, right? Para sugerir una mejora, una recomendación here, siempre vamos a utilizar would better, right? Pero vamos a tener some exceptions. ¿Cuáles van a ser nuestras exceptions? Cuando el verbo que yo voy a utilizar ya hable de mejorar. For example, el verbo improve. What's the meaning in Spanish? What's the meaning of improve? Mejorar. Mejorar. Entonces, ahí si yo le pongo would it better improve? Quedaría como decir. Más mejor. No like that one. <laughs> es este, it would be like, for example, 
Mejor mejorar. Exactly. Right? So, no sería mejor mejorar. That's what it says. O sería mejor mejorar, for example. Right? Entonces, it sounds very repetitive. Por esa razón, en number three. In number three, we don't use better por el verbo que ya significa mejorar. Right? The same happens in number four. Number four, what's the meaning of the next of the better um, that you can see there, my friends? The bear enhance. This one. Oh, wait. This one. Enhance. What's the meaning of that verb? Do you know it? Mejorar. También significa mejorar. It also means mejorar, all right? Entonces, that's the reason why. All right, mejorar. So that's the reason why we are not going to use better in number four neither, porque ya tengo un verbo que dice eh, mejorar, right? Si no, traduzcamos, let's translate this one. So would it enhance the overall experience? Si quieren, dejémoslo hasta acá. All right, so how would you translate this expression into in, in Spanish, for example? Sería, sería mejor... Mm -hmm. <laughs> sería mejor... La experiencia. Uh -huh. Ajá, sería mejor la experiencia o mejoraría la experiencia. Yo me voy con mejoraría la experiencia. Mejoraría la experiencia. Uh -huh. Mejoraría la experiencia. And then we continue with the complement, of course, right? Y en el number five dice, would it better uh, accommodate? How would you translate that one? El verbo accommodate no significa mejorar. It means, like very obvious as in Spanish, acomodar, right? So how would you translate that part? Uh -huh. Yes. Sería mejor acomodar. Exactly. Sería mejor acomodar. Right? So, like that one. Sería mejor acomodar. ¿Qué sigue después? Our customers. Uh -huh. If we extended mm -hmm. our operating hours uh -huh. on weeks. Hours. Uh -huh. What is operating hours, my friends? Um, como las horas de que está abierto, entiendo. All right, so un horario de servicio. All right, so basically, the operating hours, right, on weekends. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Now, I have a question for you, right? ¿Por qué no se utiliza better en los examples three and four? Porque los so verbos it, uh... lo son, significan mejorar. Exactly, sería una redundancia, right? So it would be redundant to uh, mention this one, right? Pero si queremos hacer con cualquier otro verbo, right? So, eh, how do you say it? Entonces, vamos a poner en práctica like right here. All right, so, eh, in this one right here, como diríamos, eh, sabría mejor, hablando de gusto, like food. Sabría mejor. How would you say that one? Y... As a It question, would... of course. As a question. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Would it taste better? Mm -hmm. Exactly, right? So, uh, exactly. It would be like, would the food taste better, for example? All right. Would it better uh, taste as the food? Would the food taste better? Entonces, en lugar de eat, vamos a poner la comida, right? So let's just change, let me show you how. So like this one. Would the food better taste? If, and then we continue, all right? So, uh, you got it, my friends? Yes? Questions? Questions, questions? Hello, hello. No, teacher. You sure you don't have questions? All right, excellent. So, eh, I want you to understand in this case right here, que es like, you know, remember, if we are going to say this one, aquí, no, for example, in number three, if we want to say this one right here, that would be like, mejoraría la satisfacción del cliente. Mejoraría la experiencia eh, en general del cliente, right? Se acomod acomodaríamos, eh, you know, nuestro, a nuestros clientes, right? 
and in an affirmative way. Pero también existe, we also have the negative way to ask the question, right? Like this one. Wouldn't be better to open earlier? How would you translate this into Spanish, people? This one. Yes? No How would you translate that? Excuse me? No sería mejor abrir temprano. Exactly, right? So we like, no sería mejor abrir antes o temprano, o más temprano, right? So very good. And we also can do that in those ways, right? And how do you say, entonces, because listen, ahorita acabamos de decir, no sería mejor abrir temprano. ¿Cómo decimos entonces, sería mejor abrir temprano? Would, would be better to open would be earlier. Would to open earlier. Uh -huh. Exactly, exactly, exactly. So the only difference, it would be in the negative. Would it be better to open earlier, right? So it just like both ways can actually uh, perform in the, the same way here, all right? So we can have that one, or we can have this one right here. Oops, let me see. Would it be better to open early? Well, I said here early, which is supposed to be earlier. Más temprano, all right? So as you can see, the only difference that we can see on this one, it will be in the first part right here. Sería mejor eh, abrir más temprano o no sería mejor abrir más temprano, right? So se puede basically en ambas formas, we only change like we're trying to say. Vamos clear as a key people, are we clear? It's clear, teacher. Yes, all right, para todos. Do you have questions at the moment? No questions. No, no questions. questions. All right, excellent. So, Teacher, yes. Solo la pronunciación cuando es negative. Wouldn't. 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 Correct. Wouldn't. Wouldn't. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other question? Well, No more questions? All right. Excellent. All right. So, well, this is something that you can see on your books, right? So, in the page number 22, so you can see this information right here. That says that basically, it would better, it's used to express a strong advice or suggestion, right? So, una recomendación o una sugerencia, right? And the structure is like the subject would be better and the infinitive. As examples, as you can see right here, right? It would be better to let employees decide what the process, what process to change. I have a question for you, everybody else. How would you translate this structure into Spanish? Mm -hmm. It would be better mm. let employees. Sería... Sería mejor dejar a los empleados eh, que ellos decidan qué procesos cambiar. Exactly. That's correct. All right. What about this one right here? It would be better to let a manager take care of the situation. What will be this one? Sería mejor dejar que el gerente o el administrador se encarga de la situación. That is actually correct. Very good job. Excellent. So, and as you can see here, we have, will be better, better, better. Que okay. sería, bueno, no solamente better, sino que con B también here, sería mejor. It will be better, sería mejor. But we can change the better here and we can add this one as example, of course. You want to say this one. It will be good if we had a professional to complete the manual. How would you translate the example we have here? How would you translate that one? Yep. Hello, hello. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, teacher. I don't understand. So what would be the translation in Spanish for this one? For this. 
with this one. This way in Spanish. Sería mejor si tenemos un profesional para completar el manual. Okay, I understood you said sería mejor, pero aquí no dice mejor, sino que sería bueno, eh, bueno, eh, sería bueno. bueno, exactly, All right? Entonces es otra forma de dar la idea. All right, so vamos a enfocarnos en utilizar be better, que sería mejor. It would be better. Es expresión correcta, ¿sí? Eh? It would be better to, y luego el verbo. All right, so it would be better to, sería mejor, y luego el verbo. All right, so it would be better to let the manager, it would be better to let the employees, all right? Sería bueno, exactly, all right? So that's in the previous example. How do you say, for example, sería mejor que nos vayamos? How do you say that, people? Sería mejor que nos vayamos, vayamos, perdón. It would be better we... It would be better to, to go. Uh, no. <laughs> All right. It would be better if we leave, for example. All right. ¿Por qué no go? Porque yo dije que nos vayamos. O sea, irnos de un lugar. Y el verbo irse de un lugar es el verbo leave. All right. Si hubiera dicho yo, sería mejor que vayamos a tal parte, ahí sí hubiera sido, it would be better to go to a different place, for example. Understand? Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay, excellent. So, questions about this structure? Mm -hmm. All right. How would you say this expression in... in in Spanish, people. Ese que acabo de mandar al chat. It would be better to go back home. Sería mejor regresar a casa. Exactly. All right. So, y qué tal si yo les pongo la misma expresión, pero con la otra. So, it would be better. It would be good. Así. What Sería is it? Sería bueno. Sería bueno. bueno. Uh -huh. regresar a casa. Exactly. Si les pongo como la primera y solo le cambio un poquito ahí, it would be better. Uh, uh -huh. Si le pongo así, people. Sería sería bueno que saliéramos. Sería bueno que saliéramos. Are you sure? Bueno. Sería mejor. Uh -huh. Sería mejor. Mejor Salir. que saliéramos. Mm, saliéramos o irnos, right? So, very good. There you go. Excellent. So, do you have questions at the moment? No questions? Okay. No problem. So, we can continue with the next one. Okay, excellent. So here we have this uh, paragraph, which is also on your books in the page 22. Um, well, I guess that's one in the previous one. But anyway, it says right here, I'm going to read it for you here. All right. So and then you guys are going to go to the breakout rooms to work in the pronunciation and practice of this paragraph. Right. So let me start for you reading here. It says, Sarah, we need to create the main steps to include in the manual to train our staff. What do you propose? First, servers need to know the correct way to present the menu. Wouldn't it be better if chapter one is about how servers should greet the customers and after that, how they need to present the menu? Actually, it would be better if we include the server's dress code and appearance in the first chapter. Easy, right? So now, let me ask you something right here quickly. What would be here the translation of this one in Spanish? Would it, wouldn't it be better if chapter one is about how servers should greet the customers and after that, how they need to present the menu? How would you say that into Spanish, my friends? Eh, no sería mejor si... En el capítulo 1 uh -huh. eh, es sobre cómo servir o cómo, cómo saludar. Cómo, uh -huh. No, cómo, sí. Servers. Ajá, los servidores, yes. O the people los who servidores. work, the waiter, waitress. Ajá. 
que eh, muestran o saludan Debería, a los clientes. Deberían saludar. A los clientes. Uh -huh. Y después so. de eso, oh. ellos necesitan presentar el menú o pueden presentar el menú, no sé. Después de cómo, cómo ellos necesitan presentar el menú. All right, excellent. But well, well done with the translation of this one. No sería mejor si. All right. What about the next one right here? How would you translate that one in Spanish? The second one. Actualmente sería mejor si incluyéramos el servicio. Service. Mm -hmm. Remember that que este no es service, que servicio, sino que son como de los servidores. No, las personas que sirven. Uh -huh. El código de vestimenta y apariencia en el primer capítulo. Exactly. Y you remember that this one no es actualmente, sino que es de hecho. Actually okay. means de hecho. All right. Excellent. So, questions about this vocabulary, people? No questions? Propose. Pro propose. Mm -hmm. All right, so propósito, the meaning. O proponer. Proponer, proponer, proponer. Yes. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Any other question? No more questions? Teacher, how do you say appearance? Like that, or appearance. Appearance. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, okay. Any other question? Appearance. Mm -hmm. Okay, then I'm going to send the conversation to the WhatsApp group and also the next um, activity. We're going to be working in two activities at the same time, all right? So let's see. Okay, so the information has been sent, but now I have to show you this one right here. Let's see. That is also the next activity that you guys are going to be working in, in this one right here. All right, so we are going to be working on organizing or unscramble the sentences, as you can see in the instruction. All right, who can help me here to read the instruction? What are for reading this instruction, my friends? Mm -hmm. Who's my volunteer? Come on, for reading, reading, reading. Put the mm -hmm. word in the correct order to make sentences and questions. In questions, exactly, 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 right? So if we have the number one, the number one is already solved here. Thank you for reading, by the way. All right, so it says here, you prefer to have wood a different schedule, all right? So in this one right here would be, would you prefer to have a different schedule? Ahora sí debo aclararles que aquí le hizo falta el exercise. Esto. Mm -hmm. This. All right. Ahora sí. Porque era una question. Recuerden cuando es question siempre comienza con would. So now you have to organize this ones right here. Remember, si es una question, lleva una estructura parecida a la number one. Y si no, sería una different right here, right? So, tenemos two questions and two regular sentences right here, all right? So, eh, do you have questions about the activity? ¿Qué tenemos que hacer aquí? Questions? Sí. No questions? Not the chair. Okay, yes, excellent. Entonces, ¿qué es lo que vamos a hacer? We're going to be working on those activities. So we're going to be working in number one, which is like the pronunciation of the dialogue. And then in the number two here, which is like organizing the activities. Dos actividades a trabajar en este momento. Questions? No, teacher. Okay, excellent. So veamos here. ¿Cuál dijo que era la primera, teacher? No le alcancé a escuchar. The... the um, the conversation. Practicar la pronunciación. Ah, okay. Exactly. The conversation right here. So let's see here. Veamos cómo quedamos here. Veamos. Eh, 
Verificamos ahorita if you can participate or not y a la vez pasamos asistencia. So David, custodio, oyente, listener. All right. So Evelyn Molina, listener. Or can you participate now? Solo listener. Okay. Noé Gustavo. No, teacher. So you can participate, right? Yes, yes, teacher. Okay, thank you very much. All right, so Henry Giovanni, ¿cómo estamos con la connection? Bastante bien, teacher. Very good, excellent. So let's see here. Entonces vamos a dejar aquí con, eh, con Noé, all right? So let's see. Eh, Daniel Membreño. Present. Thank you. Eh, Guillermo, can you participate? With no problem? Yes, teacher, of course. Okay, excellent. So, Jill. Hello, Jill. Good evening. Good evening. Can you participate uh, or are you a listener, Jill? Listener. Just listener. Okay, excellent. So, we are going to have make a change right here. Okay, here. Mr. Carlos Rivas, can you participate? Hello, Mr. Rivas. Listener, okay. Uh, Mr. Luna, you were participating already, right? So I guess you can participate now. Yes, teacher, I can. Great, excellent. So, and then, Nuria, you can participate normally, right? Yes, teacher. Thank you. So let's see here. One second. Reina Listener, all right. So let's see. Miguel Angel Santos, Listener, or can you participate now? Listener, all right. Catherine Reyes? Here, teacher. Can you participate? Yeah, yes. Okay, excellent. So we go this one. Sonia, hello, Sonia. Hello, teacher. So you can participate, right? Yes, teacher. Thank you very much. And finally, Eduardo Flores and Edwin Esaú. Can you guys participate? Yes, teacher. Yes. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All right, so let's see here. One quick second. Seven. Okay, excellent. So I have organized the rooms. Everybody, please join the, the rooms right now. I'm going to stop sharing here. Remember, the conversation, the conversation and the exercise are in the WhatsApp group. So you can see them there. Edwin Esaú. Hello, Edwin. Hi, teacher. Can you participate normally? Yes, teacher. All right. As yes, you go, numbers. Tiene dos dispositivos, Edwin. Sí, ahorita vamos a salir de... Ah, okay. Excellent. So, go to room number seven there. Mr. Flores, please go to room number seven with Edwin. And it'd be better, better. It's chop, chopper one.
Each separate one is a bulk of service should greet the customer and offer that how they need to present the menu. The menu? Actually, is it would be better if it would include the server dress code and pre preparance in the first uh, chapter. Experience, dijo ahí. El teacher. Uh, appearance. Appearance, the correct. Appearance. In the first ch ch chap chapter of pronunciation teacher. Chapter. 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 Ahí les van okay. tres palabras que you need to pronounce correctly. La primera sería chapter. Segunda, chapter. actually. Actually. Y appearance. Appearance. Actually, eh, appearance, chapter. Chapter. Eh, la, la, the primer parable, teacher, create, create, create. Eh, let me see here. Create. You need to create. Create. Mm -hmm. create. create. Yes, sería ahí. Create. 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 Okay. We need to create, create. the mind to include include in the ma manual to train or stop. What do you pro propose? Mm -hmm. The fields. Service need to know the correct way to present the menu. Would it be better if chapter one is about how service should upgrade the customer and after that of they need to present the, the menu? The menu. Actually, it would be better if we include the service dress code and appearance in the first chapter. Okay. Este, continuemos. Si, si gusta, uh -huh. pasamos al siguiente ejercicio y si tenemos tiempo después practicamos. Yeah, okay. you can practice, no problem. All right, so hey, go ahead, continue, sorry. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, pero para mí sería good then, good then, but, quiero ver. Good then, it be better the manual before painting. Ah, uh, uh, Pero me, no, me falta <laughs> wouldn't, be, wouldn't it be better to revise the manual before printing? Algo así. Thank you. Would. Wouldn't. Yo lo, lo voy a escribir en algo porque no se nos va a escapar. Yeah, I recommend you that. What is that? Les recomiendo que lo escriban para que no se les olvide. I recommend you to write okay. it down. Okay, great. Uh, would it be better if it be it be better to release and then they like that? 
Okay, guys, I will go to a different room right now to see your your classmates. Okay, so didn't do this, you can okay. call me. Okay. Okay, okay teacher. teacher, thank you. All right. Vaya, yo digo que así va la primera, mira. Teacher, I have a question. Tell me. And with the last question, and because we we have better and B, mm -hmm. and I don't know it is if it is correct to put better and next better B and better together. Mm. Yeah, it is correct because you're talking about like sería mejor, no sería okay. mejor. Tenía mi duda porque como los dos verbos pa, y hay veces no va así. Yeah, don't worry. But yes, in this case, it's it correct. Would, ah, pues sí. Wouldn't le, be, le sigo, le sigo wouldn't it be better? Así, ah, okay. Because remember, like for example, um. In the number two, it says, wouldn't it better to revise? But the verb aquí is revise. Wouldn't it be better? In the verb, in this case, it wouldn't be better. But it says, wouldn't it be better? You know? Okay. Yeah, let me see if I can. Wouldn't it be better? Uh -huh, exactly. Like this one. So this one should be eliminator here. And it's supposed to be here. Correct. Hey, you finished already. Okay. All right. I will go to a different room. In the meantime, you can practice the conversation also. Okay. 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 Room number four. Let's see. And after that, now that how they need to present in the menu. Actually, it would be better if we include the server's dress code and appearance in the first chapter. Uh, switch places. Voy a iniciar. Um, we need to create the main steps to include in the manual to train our staff. What do you propose? Fear servers need to know the correct way to present the menu. Wouldn't it be better if chapter one is about how servers should greet the customers and after that, how they need to present the menu? Actually, it would be better if we include the server dress code and appearance in the first chap chapter. Okay, um, switch places again. Okay, uh, we need to create the main steps to include in the manual to train our staff. What do you propose? First, servers need to know the correct way to present the menu. Um, will it will not it be better if Charter One is about how servers show great greet the customers and after that how they need to present the menu? Actually, it would be better if we include the server's dress code and appearance in the first chapter. Okay, las preguntas. Okay. Bueno, eh, en la segunda sería will not 
it be better to revise the manual before printing? Mm, yes. Wouldn't it be better? Así, ¿verdad? Wouldn't it be better? Would it be better, correct? To re re revise or revise, teacher? Revise. Revise the manual before printing. Before printing. Right. Number three. It mm. would be good if we change the dress code. It would be better if uh, no, I would it be would good. Be good, uh -huh. good if, if we, we change, change the dress code. The dress code. Okay, that's it. Okay, I will go to a different room. If you need my help, call me, okay? Okay, teacher, thank you. Thank you. Okay, teacher. Okay, okay number four. Um, it would be a good. Escuchan igual. <laughs> If, would, it, if, if, if we change, we change the dress code. It, it would be good if we change the dress code. Mm -hmm. The number four. Number two. Number three. E number four. It would it a good idea. It would be a good. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Idea is a training manager for chef. Would be. A good idea. A good um, by it will be a good idea. 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 Okay. Idea. Uh, uh, idea. A training manual for no. chef. No, sorry. It. Would mm -hmm. be mm -hmm. a good idea to mm -hmm. have training manual for chef. Ay, se me estaba quedando to have to have a training manual to chef. If you need help, I'm here, remember, right? Thank you, teacher. All right. Chefs. Mm -hmm. More chefs. Mm. Number five. five. Mm -hmm. Okay. Aquí sería... Esta es pregunta, así que mm -hmm. tiene que iniciar con wouldn't, wouldn't, sí, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Wouldn't, ajá. Uh -huh. Wouldn't. Correct. Wouldn't it? Um, it be better? 
Wurden ich. Espérame. El. Wurden be. Oi, uh -huh. wurden it. Wurden. It be. It be. Wurden it be. Um, better. Mm -hmm. Better. And decides to let the manager. In, in the better let. Uh -huh. yes. Sería, wouldn't it be better? This decide to let the manager. No, to let the manager decide. Ah, okay. Design is the last. Okay. Mm -hmm. We finish. You finish all of them? Yes. And did you practice the conversation? Yes. yes. Okay, great. Excellent. To let them manage. We can practice the conversation, Sonia. Yep. So, so you have one more minute to practice. I'm going to uh, send everybody to the main class right now. Okay. 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 Thank you. Um, mm. Solo estoy viendo si escrito bien todo. <laughs> okay. Welcome back, everybody else. So let's see here. Excellent. So I'm just waiting for everybody here to come back or to return to the main section. So let's just wait for them. Currently, I only have half of the class. Okay, very good. So I can see more people join the class. Thank you very much. Joining, joining. All right, all right. So let's see here. Everybody's back. Excellent, thank you very much. All right, thank you everybody and welcome back to the main session. So now I'm going to um, listen to some volunteers who can help me to read the conversation before we practice the second exercise, all right? Who are my volunteers for the conversations? Conversations, conversations? Me, teacher. All right, Nuria, who are you working with? Uh, Wilfredo. All right, Mr. Luna and Nuria, go ahead. Okay, we need to create the main steps to include in the manual to train our staff. What do you propose? First, servers need to know the correct way to present the menu. Will not it be better if chapter one is about who server to greet the customers and after that, who they need to present the menu? Actually, 
it would be better if we include the server's dress code and appearance in the first chapter. We finished, Thank teacher. Thank you very much. I truly appreciate it. So that was actually easy for you. All right. Good job on that one. Just remember when you have the questions, try to give a different intonation, right? For example, uh, in this one is like we need to create the main step to include the main, um, sorry, to include in the manual to train our staff. What do you propose? It's an intonation, like what do you propose, right? Or in an exercise what did you here. Propose? Exactly. Or like in this one right here, esa es una gran pregunta, todo esto, right? Wouldn't it be better if chapter one is about how servers should greet the customers and after that, how they need to present the menu? So vamos con esa intonation as well. But in general, you did a very good job with the pronunciation of the, um, you know, this, the, the words, the sentences, right? So you did good. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. And thank you for being obviously the first volunteers, right? So Thank you. Uh, I saw before like somebody else raised the hand. Creo que fue Evelyn. Right, Evelyn? You were a volunteer before. Hello, hello? Hello. Yes. Yep, you wanted to be a volunteer, right? Yes. Okay, so thank you. Evelyn, who are you participating with? Who? Who is participating, Evelyn? Eh, es que no me uní al grupo porque se me cortó la señal. Ah, okay, no problem. Ah, okay. Who can help Evelyn to read, my friends? Evelyn is it a volunteer also? Hello? Hey, teacher. Henry says Henry. All right, so Henry, you're going to be uh, Walter and Rene, and then Sarah and Son is going to be Evelyn. All right, go ahead, please, Evelyn. Okay, we need to create the main steps to include in the manual to train our staff. What do you propose? Yes, servers need to know the correct way to present the menu. Wouldn't it be better if chapter one is about how servers should grade the customers and after that, how they need to present the menu. Okay. Actually, it would be better if we include the service that's called an appearance in the fifth chapter. Chapter, very good job, excellent. Thank you, Evelyn, for being the volunteer. And thank you, Henry, for helping Evelyn to participate. Good job, guys. You did it wonderfully. All right. Another volunteer. Mm -hmm. Hello, hello. Another volunteer. Hello. What about... Oh, thank you, Daniel. Thank you. Appreciate it. What's it, Jerry? Uh-huh. Who were you working with, Daniel? Um, Carlos, creo. Uh-huh, Carlos. I guess it was, I don't know, Guillermo, no? Guillermo, uh -huh. no sé, no me acuerdo. Oh, my goodness. No, ni, I don't remember. Yes, teacher. Okay, you were working with Daniel, right? Yes. Okay, go ahead, guys, you can do it. We need to create the main steps to include the in a menu to train our staff. What do you propose propose? First, servers need to know the correct way to present the menu. Wouldn't, wouldn't it the better if chapter chapter on one is about how servers should greet the customers and after that how do they need to present the menu? Actually, it would be better if we include the servers, dress code, and appearance in the first chapter. 
All right, excellent. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you very much on this one right here. All right, so it was by us actually very good job, guys. The one you were doing, good job with the pronunciation as well. Thank you. All right, so a recommendation is basically the same for everybody, right? Be careful with the question intonations, right? So thank you very much. Okay, now my friends, we can continue with the next one right here. So we already finished with this activity, all right? So we can have this one here. And let's just move forward to going in this one right here, all right? So um, now I need a volunteer who can help me with this exercises. Number two, three, four, and five. Who can help me with number three? Yes, sir. Oh, number two, I'm sorry. Yes, go ahead. What is it? Well, will, the, will not it be better to revise the manual before printing? Okay, let me check this one. It says, wouldn't, uh-huh. Wouldn't it be? Uh -huh. It be better to revise the manual before printing. Revise the manual before printing. And we have the question. Well, the question is at the end, the question mark. So let's see here. There you go. Excellent. So that's going to be the um, one second here. Okay. So that's better. Let me see this one. Thank you very much. So that's the answer. Wouldn't it be better to revise the manual before printing? Everybody, do you agree or disagree? Correct or incorrect? Correct. Thank you. That's actually right. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Nuria, for that one. Good job. Hello, Edwin. I want to hear you with number three. Yes. Go ahead. Tell me. It will be. Mm -hmm. It would be good. Good. If we change it, we change. We change the dress code. The dress code. Very good job. Excellent. So this is not a question. So it's gonna be like this one. It would be. It would be good if we change the dress code. Correct or incorrect, people? Correct. Uh, right. Thank you very much, all right? Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Edwin, who is gonna be my last volunteer, my next volunteer, sorry. Next volunteer. It will be. Uh, thank you, okay, Sonia, number five, Henry, number four, all right? Henry, go ahead. Hello, Henry? Okay. okay. It would be a good idea to have a training manual for chef. For chef. There you go. Excellent. Yes or no, people? Um, no, teacher. Mm -hmm. What is your answer, Nuria? It would be to have a good idea, a training manual for chef. No, no, Tonya. It would be actually correct in this way. Okay. All right. So, yes, because it's like, it would be, sería una buena idea tener un training manual para los chefs. All right. So, so yes, it's like that one. But thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So, and then Sonia, right? Okay. Uh, wouldn't it be better? Mm -hmm. To let the manager decide. Decide. So, yes or no, people? Yes, teacher. That's correct as well. So, thank you, everybody. You were doing a very good job. I really uh, appreciate your effort in this one. All right. So, questions? No questions? No questions. No questions. No questions. Okay. So, let me just take a screenshot and let me send this one to the group so you can actually have them there, right? Bueno, hay un tema en las tareas de esto, people, así que 
Um, so, Pilas con este tema, right? So, it's going to be there. Sure. Yes. Solo una pregunta, ¿cómo se pronuncia eh, donde dice revise? Revise. Revise, revise. Uh -huh, revise. Okay. Correct. Revise, yes. Thank you, thank you. All right, excellent. So, any other question before uh, we actually continue with the, with the last activity for tonight? No questions? No question. Okay, so everybody, let's just continue here with the last two activities that we are going to uh, work on tonight. All right, so let's see. I need a volunteer who can help me with the activity number six. Who can help me with that activity, please? Me, teacher. Go ahead. In pairs, exchange the index you create in the previous page with a classmate, then hit suggestions about how to improve it using will be better or alternative expressions. Thank you very much, Nuria. You did a very good job. Let me give you a recommendation right here with these three words. The first one, remember, el verbo, yes, is create, but this is in past. And when it is in past, right, you pronounce it, create it. Repeat it. Create it. Exactly. Create it. All right. So, create it. Then you go this one. This is not give, it's give. Give. Exactly. And this is no whole, right? So it's how. How. Exactly. All right. That's why we said, how are you? No whole, what are you? Right. So, so we okay. got like, how, how, how. Thank you. And thank you how. for applying the corrections, right? So, get okay, one sitting this one right here. It says, like, in pairs or in the breakout rooms, right? We're going to exchange the index you created. Anoche estuvimos trabajando como en un process para hacer eso, right? So, para hacer, like, diferentes áreas. In a restaurant, all right? Ahora vamos a give suggestions about how to improve using a will be better or alternatives. Now, les quiero mostrar something que ya les envié earlier. Bueno, desde anoche les mandé uno y ahora otro. Today, I sent another one. All right. So, let's see here. A, this one right here. One sec. Okay. This one is part of what I sent anoche, right? So, one second here. I'm about to show it there. Excellent. So, do you see this, people? Yes? Yes, teacher. All right, excellent. So, esos que están aquí son unos pasos que yo envié, like, last night. Este lo mandé anoche, I sent it last night, y hoy mandé otro, all right? De otro de los, de las, de los procesos del manual que tendríamos que haber trabajado, right? Aquí dice que este es el step-by-step, step, like, how to set a table in the restaurant. Mira, cómo poner la mesa, right? Aquí hay, ocho, bueno, hay diez pasos. Aquí solo salen ocho, pero... In the group, and complete. In the group, is actually complete the information, right? And um, so you can see here, um, like this ones, right? So you go like all of them right here, right? Y ustedes lo que van a hacer de acuerdo a la activity que nos está preguntando here uh, in the presentations, right? Uh, you are going to give suggestions de cuál de esos pasos vamos a cambiar utilizando will be better y dando una alternativa. All right? So, es decir, for example, right? De esos pasos que están ahí. All right? So, for example, it says number four, set the plates. Place one plate at the center of each seat. All right? Usted me puede decir que hay que poner un plato al centro de cada asiento, right? So, pero usted dice, no, ¿sabe qué? Si no me gusta cómo está poniendo los platos, yo mejor pongo todos los platos eh, de un solo, right? Entonces, sería aquí decir, wouldn't be better to, y entonces usted me da la recommendation, you give me the recommendation para cambiar eh, este punto de aquí, right? Si ¿Sí vamos claros ahorita, so do you understand what we're going to do? Yes, chef. Yes, thank you, Nuria. And the rest, are we understanding? Yes, teacher. All right, excellent. All right, ustedes pueden tomar como base este example de cómo set the table at the restaurant o el otro que les envié ahora antes de la clase. Ese es como 
let me check this one right here so I remember. All right, this one here is. Um, ¿Cómo tratar a los clientes en un restaurante? Ese es el que mandé ahora, ahora antes del, del saludo, all right? So, así que ahí pueden tomar cualquiera de esos pasos y sugerir los cambios ahí, all right? So, understand? Teacher. Yes. yes. Uh, for example, uh, example, mm -hmm. um, it will, will be better mm -hmm. collect clean plates, uh, etc. Uh, what number? One. Number one. Number one. Uh -huh. uh, I did say gather all the necessary items. So, como recoger todos los items que se necesitan. Right? Y dice como recoger los platos limpios, los eh, cubiertos, servilletas, cualquier otra cosa que necesita. All right? O se puede decir like this one. Uh, y podría una sugerencia, like, for example, no sería mejor eh, llevar los platos por mesa, o no sería mejor primero los platos y después las, you know, cualquier recommendation. El propósito aquí es proporcionar una sugerencia. ¿Understand? Ok. To propose a recommendation right there. All right. Excellent. Thank you. Eh, any other question? Mm -hmm. to Sorry, español. Ajá, no todas, problem. todas las recomendaciones eh, las podemos hacer que inicien con con wool 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 beater. Right. Todas van a ser verdad. Podría usar esa structure. You can use that structure. O también podría usar in affirmative, right? Diciendo como it would be better if sería mejor si, you know. Okay. Cualquiera de las dos. You can actually say it like that. Okay, teacher. Okay, very good, excellent. And creo que eso antes de que se vayan al, al, a los breakout rooms. All right, so do you have any other question, people? No? All right, tell me. Uh, we can only the two option. We can only use the two option. For example, would be better or it would be better if. Only two options. También puedo usar el negativo. You can also use the negative. Wouldn't be better. Wouldn't it be better? Uh -huh. Wouldn't it be better? Uh, right. um, okay. Um, it wouldn't. It's not no. No, because we use it as a question. Yeah, correct. Right? Mm -hmm. We use it as a question. I understand the point. So you're trying to say if we can use it in negative. We can use it in negative, but asking a question. You know? Wouldn't be. Wouldn't it be better? Wouldn't it be better? Mm -hmm. Only three options. Yes, just the options given in the class. Yes. Okay. Awesome. All right. So everybody, please. Join the breakout rooms right now so we can actually continue with this last activity for tonight. Please join the rooms. Teacher. Yes. No, me parece no problem. Ahorita lo arreglamos. I'm going to fix it right now. Evelyn, right? Yes. Okay. Do you see it now, Evelyn? Yes, teacher. Thanks. Okay, let me see the rest. Maritza, Custodio, Rivas, Jill. Remember, you can also join the rooms as a listener. All right.
specific the, the tariff description or preference as in they need assistance in finding. Okay, but in este. En este caso, debemos dar una sugerencia. Sí. <coughs> Por ejemplo, ¿Qué sugerencia podemos dar ahí? Eh, podría ser un incluir la sección. Mm. Ay, ¿cómo se dice? Eh. O sea, lo voy a decir en español porque no hay como. Incluir en el menú eh, una sección de de comida especificando si es si es este baja en azúcar o sea cómo se dice dietética algo así uh -huh. teacher you can say eh, that is if the food is low in calories ah uh, yes Like that. Okay. Entonces podríamos usar it would be good include the section of food low in calories. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, but estaría bien así la, la estructura. Can you repeat it one more time, please? Yes, my teacher. Can you repeat it? Para verificarla, que can, lo puede repetir. Can you repeat it? Okay. It good good be good. Um, include the section full. No, the section of full. 
eh, low in calories. Ok, sería so, entonces ahí, wouldn't be better. Usted lo quiere empezar con wouldn't be better, right? Ok. Wouldn't. Wouldn't be better. Uh -huh. If. We add. Ajá. Agregamos una sección, me dijo, right? Yes. Uh, Food, a section of food low in calories. What about this one? ¿Algo así tienen? Do you see it? Mm. Yes, teacher. Okay, great, excellent. So, yeah, if it is like that, so that's okay. Uh, well, teacher. I will I will go to a different room right now. So, in just to check, if teacher. you have questions, let me know. All right. Podríamos poner could we put menu menu posted on the table. Eh, Otra vez, please. Eh, could, could we we put menu post on the table. To put the menu on the table. Eh, yes. Oh well, yeah. So wouldn't it be better to to put o to no le yo no le pondría put. Yo sé que es poner, right? Pero sería como place. Que sería como colocar. Ok. Place. We were to place the menu on the table. Ok. All right. You... you finish? Guillermo, Daniel. Yeah. All right, excellent. So I have my volunteers here. Thank you, guys. We are going to... No, not yet, really, no practice. Ah, <gasps> no practice. And what happened? Mm -hmm. What happened? Hmm. All right, so let's return to the main session right now so we can listen to some volunteers, all right? Okay, just waiting for everybody else to join the class again so we can finish with this. Okay, thank you very much, Ranks, for participating in the activity. So I know it was easy. And I would like to know if I have a volunteer, 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 who can help me with these recommendations, uh-huh. To change that, uh-huh. Who can be my volunteer? Hello, hello? Yes, yes, yes. Come on, people, volunteer, so we can go to sleep. <laughs> Nuria, Sonia, Henry, Evelyn. Um, like que nos, bueno, nosotros hicimos esta que dice eh, eh, It would be better eh, place a small and artificial flower ar ornament. Ornament, you mean? Ornament. Yes. So that's good. That's good. That's good. You know, you know how to give the recommendation now. Thank you. Uh -huh. Thank you for that one, Sonia. Good job on that one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
So let's see. What about the next one? Next one, next one. Mm -hmm. Let's see another one. Hello, hello. Come on, people. It's just a recommendation. Keep writing in breakout room. Uh-huh, Evelyn, Henry, or Noe, I was helping you there. Me teacher. Okay, go ahead. Uh, the number four, provide menu information. Uh, is is a could could we print menus of the of the table? Okay, excellent. Thank you very much, Noel, for that one. That was a different from the one I was helping you, but still correct, right? Thank you very much. All right, everybody. So um, I just want to say thank you very much for joining the class. Remember that tomorrow it's a national holiday, so we won't have classes until Friday. Okay, so no classes tomorrow. I will see you on Friday because of the holidays. Is that clear? It's clear, teacher. Ah, now you appear, right? Hi, everybody. <laughs> All right. So, everybody, have a good night. I will see you on Friday. Take care. Take care, yeah, teacher. teacher. Thank you. Bye-bye. Have a good night. Thank you. You too. Have a good night, everybody. See you on Friday. <laughs>